How's it going guys? Like Butter here and it's been kind of a while since I did a commentary and uh, we got a lot to catch up on since I haven't been very active with my channel and I'm going to explain to you guys what's been going on and stuff like that. I want to start off by letting you guys know I hope everyone is having an amazing summer. Um, the weather's been pretty nice where I live but unfortunately I can't really enjoy it too much. I work five days a week and I'm inside the majority of the nice time of the day. I work from 2 to 10 so it kind of sucks uh, you know, when it's nice out and I know that I really <laughs> can't do anything about it. What I usually do is I wake up, I go to the gym and then uh, I work for eight hours and then I come home and I either you know chill with my friends or go to a party or something like that so there's always something going on but I hope everyone's having a great summer um, you know there's still a lot of summer to go so you don't have to worry about that this job does end in I think like two weeks something like that so once the like this job is out of the way I'll be going back to my normal schedule I do apologize guys but you gotta understand like you know um, things come along and sometimes you have to put other things before gaming um, although I still love gaming of course but I haven't touched my Xbox in about two weeks so like I said I'll be more active soon um I got a few things to go over with you guys uh, I got some big news uh, yesterday which is kinda cool so I'm gonna tell you guys a little story um, what happened was I was talking to my friend and he hit me up and he was like yo um, do you remember that kid who pitched against us at States for high school? So basically I'm going to give you guys just uh, a little rundown. Um, in high school I was one of the one of the best players in the state for baseball. Uh, I was at the All-Star game for States so it was like it was like Western Mass versus Central Mass and then Central Mass would play Northeastern Mass or the winner of Northeastern and Eastern Mass so it was like I was probably top, I'd say, like top 60, um, or uh, nah, top 40 for players. So I was very good in high school. Um, I, I think I still have like eight records at my high school now, and it's been four years, so I don't think any of my records have been touched. But overall, I've, I was a very good player, and we went to states because we like didn't have a great um you know regular season but in the playoffs we were just we beat the number one and two seed so we won western mass and then we went to states and we played a team named auburn and uh they were really good they were like 25 and 0 or something like that some ridiculous thing so but we were so on fire that we thought we were going to beat this team so we played the game and it was pretty close throughout the entire game and then towards the end we, we I think we we're getting beat by six runs and this team brought this kid in and he you could just tell that he was a beast like he was throwing straight cheese like he was throwing probably like 85 to 90 miles an hour um, so he came in and he struck me out on like four pitches I think um, and I, he really just made me look stupid and I was a, like I said I was one of the top players in the state so I was like yeah this kid's gonna be a beast and we ended up losing the game but it was actually uh, you know really close and we did very well for you know how underrated or no not underrated but you know we were extreme underdogs in that game um, so I found out after the game when everything went on that that kid was actually a freshman so the kid who came in and the person who was their ace for their team was a freshman. They went on and lost in the state championship, won nothing by um, an East Coast team just outside of Boston who hasn't lost a game in three years or something like that. So, you know, they only lost one nothing. So that kid was just an animal. And I was thinking about it, I'm like, yeah, we're going to be seeing him play professional baseball. And sure enough, uh, two days ago, he got drafted by the Toronto Blue Jays in the first round. His name is Tyler Bede, I think his name is, or Tyler Beedy, one of those. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm guessing it's Bede. Um, so he got drafted in the first round. I thought that was crazy that, um, you know, he got drafted right out of high school. You know, it's, it's pretty rare that you see that, and especially in the first round. Um, so congratulations to him, and it'll be, like, I honestly think he's going to play through, you know, single A, triple A, work his way up to the, you know, 
the majors and then eventually I think he's going to be a very um, you know dominant pitcher in that league it's hard to believe how far he's came especially with probably his body growing and his arm and strength going up I remember that that kid had a curveball like you would not believe like it would look like a fastball like right off his hand and uh, it would just break like two feet it was just nuts so um, I think we're gonna be able to see him play at a high level of baseball if not be one of the best um, you know pitchers in the league that would be insane to say I batted against one of the best pitchers in the league that would be awesome um, so yeah I thought I'd share that story with you guys I thought it was pretty cool because not many people from around where I live um, play in the major leagues it's kind of rare so it's kind of one of those things that you don't see every day um, but other than that yeah I just wanted to let you guys know that I haven't been you know um, just like being inactive for stupid reasons or like getting sick of gaming I'm gonna keep doing this I just wanted to let you guys know that I've been busy lately but the chaotic team uh, the team that I made is coming along great. We're getting great results. I'll leave the link in the description for that. You guys should definitely go check that out. Um, we get a montage up almost every single day. And if they're not a montage, then we get a commentary up. So that channel, um, I'm glad that channel is doing really well. And I just want to thank you guys for watching. And it's been a while, so you know I wanted to throw up a commentary. And uh, just let you guys know what you've been up to. So leave me a comment in the comment section below on what you think about me facing Tyler Bede. And if you think he's going to do well in the MLB. And also let me know what you guys have been doing with your summer. I'm, I'm very curious to see how your summer's going and stuff like that. Alright, I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy.